check this out guys our newest t-shirt design honda wrenching club available at refine-movement.com we're super proud of this one and we hope you love it too head on over to refine-movement.com to pick up your t-shirt we also have it available in a sticker as well in today's episode we're going to be taking all this stuff and putting it back in the car so this is what i'm working with here we got a lot of stuff to vacuum up first before i go ahead and put anything in i've driven this car a little bit in this state <laughs> so that's why there's some sand there but this is generally just 22 years of nastiness that we gotta vacuum up. So while I start to vacuum that up, check out the carpet and the headliner that I'll be putting back in. All right, so we're doing much better so far. So we got everything clean on the floor, but actually the very first thing that I'm gonna put back in is the headliner. If you saw my other videos, you saw that the headliner was actually the last thing that I took out. Reason being is that these side panels here have to kind of come out, you know, and I've got them out just enough to where I was able to slide the headliner out. Now, putting this headliner back in was definitely more challenging than taking it out in the first place. You know, the thing is totally recovered with brand new material on it, so I don't wanna be scratching it up or ripping it or tearing it as I'm putting it in past these interior trim panels. This thing's just kind of being supported up in there already by these side panels. The front needs just a little bit of help staying up there. So this was my old mirror, and if you guys saw my previous episode, you know this thing always falls on me. So I've already been out to the junkyard, and we got this guy. This one seems to hold up much better. So let's go ahead and put this in and it'll act as an anchor point for the front. Let's see if these holes that I already made line up. Wow, did I get it already? I did, wow. I did not expect that. <laughs> This may seem like a really small thing to most of you guys, but forever my old mirror was always falling anytime I'd hit a bump. This one seems like it's really gonna be much, much nicer. It's gonna actually stay there. This part is a lot of fun, you guys. This thing is really coming along, man. So the headliner is mostly in. And the reason I say mostly is because like I don't have the dome light, I don't have the little coat hanger thing there, and I don't have anything for the front visors yet. And I do see that that line is still there. If y'all saw from my previous episode when I went ahead and put this thing in, that line is still there, but I still am hopeful that that's gonna work its way out. It's literally only been a day since I did this. So we'll see if it works itself out over time. But for right now, I wanna go ahead and tackle this carpet. Let's go ahead and get that in. I am thrilled with how this carpet came out, you guys. If you haven't, check out my old episode where I took the carpet out and is actually uh, dyeing the color on this. Dude, it looks a million times better.
panels down in now that the carpet is in there. So I just want to spray this stuff up while this thing is out of the car, easy to get to. I can hit all the angles on it, you know, much easier than when it's in the car. This one right here is the cover for the ECU. So check it out, man. I pretty much got the whole front section done. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this cleaner and go ahead and hit all these panels now. Well, it's pretty easy to get to them, you know, while the back seats aren't in there and stuff. That's it, everything wiped down, man. Looking much, much better. So now I have this back seat here, and you see that it's definitely got some marks to it, um, but it's just generally dirty right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this thing up, but then we're gonna steam clean this and the seats that are up front. cleaner man I'm telling you it works great I'm just leaving that center belt tucked up under there no one ever sits back here anyway and that looks much cleaner so what do you guys think overall of how everything's coming back together Man, I am so happy with it. But, uh, you know, I'm sure there's stuff that I maybe didn't think of. So let me know if you have any other suggestions. You all saw my other episode where I dyed the carpet that black. Well, I actually kind of sort of forgot about this back piece of carpet. <laughs> the one that hangs off of the back seats. So as I was going to put them back in, I was like, oh, yeah, like I probably should do something about this, too. So I went ahead and took this off. And you'll see here coming up, I went and dyed it the same color as the carpet.
starting to get down to it. It's really, it's really coming together, man, and looking like a car again, and it is pretty exciting. Even though it's just the stock stuff going back in the car, I've never done a clean like this. I've obviously never changed the color of the carpet. Um, man, this is just, it's pretty big. Check this out. For the seat rails, I got brand new bolts, uh, Honda bolts. This is where reusing that OEM carpet really comes in handy. If I hadn't, you know, I would have had to go ahead and cut the holes for all these things, for the seat brackets and everything. You know, who knows if I would have done that right. Um, you know, it's the very first time I'm doing any of this, so it really could be a challenge. But now that I've reused my OEM carpet, everything just lines up perfectly, man. One of the last pieces to come together for this interior project. These sun visors came all the way from across the pond in sunny old England. <laughs> Thanks to a guy named James, who I'll call a friend, who I've only ever known or talked to through Instagram. Still, it's amazing to me how these things can come together. I put out a message on our Instagram saying that I was in need for some sun visors, or at least I just didn't know what I wanted to do at the time. James, or Concept286, hit me up on Instagram, sending me a message saying, dude, I think I can get you some uh, and they should look great. So that's exactly what happened. A couple days later, he sent me a message saying he found some from an EK hatchback and he sent them on over to me. So here they are in my hands and man, they look awesome. Uh, the material is like that pleather type material, but the color of these things totally matches the headliner that I've recently put into the car. I think these things have held up so well over the years because they're that pleather, you know, more durable kind of material. That cloth stuff, man, it just disintegrates in your hands. But so a huge, huge thank you to James, Concept286 on Instagram. Please give him a follow, check out his build. He's got a really cool EG build going on too. Uh, so again, thank you so much, man. And thank you to all of you. I know this has been a big episode, a lot of stuff going on. And I know, you know, yeah, it's kind of a OEM refresh kind of interior. You know, there's no super special bits or anything. It was a whole lot of DIY. 
Um, but when I really think about refined movement as a channel, at least on my end, I, that's kind of what I think of is DIY. I like those kind of projects where you're taking something that's kind of just run down and making it nicer and newer again. And I think that's exactly what this project was. So if you watched all four of these episodes in this little mini series of restoring the EK interior, thank you so much. I know there's plenty of you out there. You've been sending me a lot of really nice messages. So thank you so much, you guys. Y'all know who you are. Um, and be staying tuned. We got a whole lot more coming. Talk to you in the next.